parallel at the circle for previous uh, that i have explained about half adder and full adder so half adder is actually only used to add between two beads and then uh, full adder used to uh, add between uh, three beads which is uh, the value that I have uh, C in uh, value A and also value B so parallel at the circuit is actually to show you how we can uh, add four bits okay, or multiple bits okay, more than uh, two bits okay. so to construct a four bit parallel adder okay, we need to have uh, a single half adder and three full adder okay. so this is actually based on the format of this uh, addition okay a4 okay a3 a2 a1 plus with b4 b3 b2 and b1 okay so when you add you have s1 c in s2 c in okay s3 c in as 4 and the last one is C out so based on this format okay, so how we can perform the addition of this 4 bit of data so we need to use the parallel adder circuit okay, so uh, that's why based on this format if you refer to each column okay, for example for the first column okay, so for the first column you have two value a1 okay and b1 okay a1 and b1 so this one okay a1 plus with b1 and you will have s1 so based on this first column you only need to add between two values is two bit so that's why for this parallel adder you need to have a single half adder Okay, so this one we will use half adder half adder okay. for the uh, next column okay, column number two column number three and column number four so these three columns we cannot use half adder okay because now we have uh, addition of uh, input which is c in so that's why for these three column Okay, we need to use a full adder. Okay, so that's why we need to have three full adder. Okay, so one, two, and three. Okay, so we will add this uh, four column okay, by using the parallel adder circuit. So this is actually the parallel adder circuit. One half adder and three full adder. Okay, this is actually based on this format. Okay. So, for the first uh, half adder, okay, you have A1, B1 okay, as your input and then you have S1. And actually, as I uh, explained uh, before, so actually you have CO here. Okay. And then this CO will carry to the next column become C in. So this actually you have two output, okay, S and CO, okay. and then this CO must be connected to the next column and become the C in. So it will carry the same value, whatever value CO here, it must be carried to the next column and become the C in. So same goes with the next, uh, the column number two, okay. So column number two now you you have three inputs in a2 b2 okay. and then when you add you have s2 and also co so this co will carry to the next column become the c in so this co okay, you must connect with the next diagram of full adder okay. and then you add another three input and you have uh, S3 and CO so this CO also must be connected to the next full adder so here okay, CO so this CO must be connected to the next and become the C in okay, and for the last one because 
we don't have any column or any value so that's why you just put your carry out here so here s4 and carry out so the last carry out will be uh, remain carry out and not be connected to the other full adder okay. so this is for a uh, four bit parallel adder okay. and uh, in our circuit maker so we have one uh, uh, device okay, that we call a uh, full adder device this is a full adder device or in a uh, id number so the id number for this device is 7483 okay. so this is a commercial four bit full adder so actually this uh, four bit full adder will represent this parallel adder okay mm -hmm. why if you refer to this four bit full adder the commercial okay so all the value is actually in one device so you have a you have b okay so each uh, so a you have four bit a1 a2 a3 a4 b also you have four bit and then s also you have four bit and you have c in c out uh, so this is how we change okay from this one Okay, to this commercial 4-bit full adder okay. and then to perform a 4-bit addition okay, you need to connect your C in with the ground or the value of 0 okay, why? Okay, if uh, you remember for the previous uh, slide here Okay, uh, the previous slide, uh, we use one half adder and three full adder. But now, we use all full adder. Okay, when we use all full adder, meaning that for the first diagram, you have three bits. Okay, you have three inputs. Okay, you have three inputs. So, when you have three input, okay, the C in value must be connected to zero or you need to give the value to C in is equal to zero. Okay, so here is actually A1. Okay, so if you remember the format of uh, addition for 4 bit okay, A4, A3, A2, A1, A plus B4, B3, B2, B1 C in, S2, C in, S3, C in, S4, C out Okay, so based on this format, if you refer to the value or the column, so we have four column. Okay, so each column is actually determine what kind of uh, circuit that you need to use. Okay, if you have three bits, for example, for the last column, so this one you need to use the full adder. So that's why the last one you use full adder. Okay, but for the first column, you only add between two bits. Okay, so you can use half adder okay, but if you want to use full adder so that will be uh, okay but you need to add something to the value so if you use full adder means that here you have c in okay when you have c in and so you need to add something uh, you need to add the value a plus a1 plus b1 and plus c in so that's why the c in value is equal to zero you cannot put one because if you put one it's actually it, it will change the original format which is uh, not supposed to have value okay, on top of uh, a1 okay so that is how uh, why we need to connect the c in with the zero okay, this is a for four bit so if you want to add more than 4 bit, for example, if you are using the circuit maker, you need to connect two device. This is 4 bit and then this is 4 bit. So you must connect the C out to the C in okay, for the next uh, diagram. Yeah. So this is the, the process of uh, addition okay, by using parallel adder circuit. Okay, now I will show you the example of uh, addition by using a parallel adder circuit.
Okay, for example, you need to show the process of addition of uh, 1 plus with 4. Okay. Okay, using parallel adder. Okay, parallel adder circuit. So how you can form the the addition? Okay, first step. Okay, you need to convert. Okay, the value. Okay, to binary. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so because we are using the four bit okay, parallel at the circuit. Okay, so you need to convert each decimal to four bit. Okay, so first one. So one in binary is zero zero zero. One and four okay, is zero one zero zero, okay. and then this is A, then this is B. Okay. So when you add both numbers, okay, when you add both numbers, okay, you will get one zero one zero. So this is your expected result, okay, which is uh, five. Okay, yeah, so here you will get five. Okay, you will get five. So next step, you need to draw the four bit parallel adder, and then you need to map the value. Okay, so this is the four bit parallel adder. Okay, so for the four bit parallel adder. You have uh, one half adder and then three full adder. Okay, based on this binary number, and then uh, based on the binary that you have uh, convert, you need to determine which binary is a one, which binary bit is a two, and so on. So this is actually your a one. Okay, and then here is a two, a three, a four. Okay, and then this is B4, B3, B2, and B1. So your result, you will get S4, S3, S2, S1. Okay, you just need to map okay, the value of A. And then you need to show how you can get the value of S. Okay, not mapping S here. Okay, before you show the process, okay, you need to map the value of A and then uh, you will get the value of S. Okay, so now I will show you how you can map the value. Okay. So because this is A1, so you just put here is A1. Okay, A1 is B1. Okay. B1, B1 is speed 0. Okay, and then A2, A2 is 0, B2 is 0, okay, A3 is 0, B3 is 1, A4 is 0, and then B4 is 0. Okay, and then you proceed with the value of S, C, O, and C in. Okay. So, what is the value of S1, so S1 is 1 plus with uh, 0, you will get 1. Okay, and then your C out is 0. So you carry 0 and then you put to your C in. Okay, so what is the value of your uh, S2? Okay, so S2 you get by you at these 3 bits. 0 plus 0 plus 0. So you will get 0. Your carry out also 0. The carry in also 0. Okay, for S3 is 0 plus 0 plus 1. So here is 1. And then your CO is 0. Okay, your C in also 0. And then for the last one, 0 plus 0 plus 0. Okay, your S4 is 0. Your CO also 0. Okay, so meaning that your answer is actually... Okay, we start with S4. Okay, S4 is 0, S3 is 1, S2 is 0, 
as 1 is 1. So this is your result. So your result that you get here is actually same with the expected result okay, when you do manually okay, without using the parallel at the circuit. Okay. So this is how we can uh, show the process of addition okay, by using uh, 4 bit parallel at the circuit. So here is actually we use a 4 bit okay, 4 bit parallel at the circuit. Okay. So I hope you can get the, the idea how we can perform the process of addition okay, by using parallel at the circuit. So you need to show this process. Okay, first you need to show the binary value for both numbers and then next you need to show the mapping okay, which is the value for each variable here what is the value for a1 what is the value for b2 okay a2 b2 and also for s1 co and c in so some students okay when um, uh, ask when uh, they want to ask this question okay, to answer these questions so they just mapping the value of a b and suddenly they will get s s value without put the value of c o and c in okay, how come you can get the value of s okay, without you put the value of c o and c in you need to have the value of c o so you can get the value of your c in and then you can get the value of next s uh, s2 same goes with the s3 and s4 so this is how you uh, show the process okay